After all the bloodshed and deception in chapter 34 of Genesis, we come to chapter 35, where now Jacob returns to Bethel. And he does some amazing things and he meets an amazing uh, situation with the Lord. But listen to this as he kind of repents. It says, And Jacob said to his household, verse 2, and all who were with him, Put away the foreign gods that are among you, pur purify yourselves, and change your garments. So they gave Jacob all their foreign gods which were in their hands and their earrings which were in their ears and Jacob hid them under the terebinth tree which was by Shechem. They leave behind all their false gods, even their earrings. Not that earrings are bad, but they probably symbolize some form of worship or some form of idol that they had on their ears. So as he heads back to Bethel, where God's calling him away from Shechem, the place of, well, bloodshed and disobedience and deceit, God has him build an altar. He rebuilds a relationship with the Lord. God holds back the enemy. He thinks all those in Shechem will come after him. And he restores him back to his brother Esau as their father Isaac dies. And they come together over the death of their father and they bury him. So in chapter 35, we see these things. God rebuilds, God restores, God renews, and God fulfills his purpose in our life. You see this over and over again in all our, our lives when we fall, when we stumble, that God calls us back. He, he asks us to leave behind things we should leave behind. He restores relationships with himself, with others, and he fulfills his purpose in our life. Even when we're not faithful, God continues to be so faithful over and over again. Maybe there's something you need to leave behind. Maybe God wants to renew, he wants to rebuild, he wants to refresh. This is the story of Genesis chapter 35.